Welcome back to Further Solutions Academy. Further Solutions Academy. Um, encourage us more to share our video anywhere you see it and subscribe. If you have not subscribed before, just make sure you press on your subscribe button. It's always on the red button that you see it on, your, on top of that. Just press it, it will be of help to you. And also, we have over 300 videos on this platform, on this channel. It means you can come in and lay any topic of your choice without any problem. And if you need any help from us or you want to make any requests, you are feel free to call us with this number. You can have um, this number with 244 There are two things you can do with this number. You can call us and you can WhatsApp us and also Telegram is allowed. Now, all this is allowed anyhow you want to do it. Uh, don't forget for that solution. Okay. Now, um, on this video, I'll be walking you through this is all I have for this section, which is solid measuration. I think uh, we are now on, we have done uh, liquid, um, plain measuration. Now, we are now on solid measuration, which is the outline of this section. I'll be talking about what? Um, cylinder, cone, sphere, pyramid, uh, prism, and cube, and keyboard. Like it means each of them will give us each video. In, on this video, I'll be basically I'll be working on what I'll be working on this particular part, which is a cylinder. Now, all you need to know about cylinder in few minutes time, you will understand it. By the end of this video, you will understand everything on what cylinder. Okay, now let's start. Okay. Now, when we talk about cylinder, when you talk about cylinder, um, let me start from, I think I will be working on cylinder at this point. Now, well, when we talk about cylinder, we have what is called cylinder. Now, that is what I will be working on, on this part. Now, when we talk about cylinder, is a plain, before we talk about cylinder, let me explain what is called a uh, uh, solid um, Measuration, or we call it three dimensional shape. You can call it solid measuration or three dimensional shapes. There are two things that are very common there. Number one, it must have what? That particular thing must have height. There must be height. This is one of them. This is cube. Now, this it must have height, it must have breadth, and it must have width. Must have width. Now, width. This is width. Now it means the, it was as it always involves volume. It always involves volume. Now when we talk about solid measuration, it means it has height, weight, and breadth. Breadth. Now that is just measuration. It was it was and um, uh, in, in your paper you may see it in the form of um, in form of plain you know plain things like a keyboard. But when you see it on the real life situation, you, you will see it in form of what. Uh, uh, of, of that, and when we give an example of, uh, of, of something that has that can contain something like a cylinder, cylinder like your tin. Now, when we talk about tin, look at the tin of it. Now, this is a tin that really help us. This is a very good cylinder. Can you see that the cylinder that you know you have it in form of what in tin? It means this is a volume. It has height, it has weight, and it has what breadth. Now, it has volume of what make on it. This is the make of a cylinder, which is one of the examples of what of cylinder. Now, okay, when we talk about that, let me please now type of cylinder. Types of cylinder. Now, type of cylinder. The first one we have it an uh, open top cylinder, and the second one we have but a uh, close ended or ends cylinder. cylinder now this is cylinder now it means what I'm, what I'm trying to say is there is that if I have something like this I have something like this and um, this is and also I have something like this and this place is like like this and um, 
Joker one, we have your area. Okay, and you have your okay. Now this is called R. We call it R, and this is um now here is close, which is close here, close uh circular. This now do I this one is what? Uh open circular top okay now the other one which is the other one that is um i'll just read that this form now this is uh and this space is now being now it means this one is close here is close, um, close top circular. Now, why this one is also, I can also call this place close, um, close um, circular base. Circular base. Now that is what I mean by what the two type of cylinder. Now it must it can be opened up. Like this is my make now. This is my thing of make. Can you see that it's close here and also close here? Now it is close up and down. Now this is gonna be the cylinder we are talking about. But when we talk about this one, we are talking about something like cup. This is a cup that also helps us. You know, this is a cup. It is close here, why open up. Close here, open up. They are all both cylinder, but this one is close up and down. This one is close up. I mean, open up and down. That is very good example. But this place is close. Why this place is what? It's open. Now, that is what I'm trying to say here. Now, when we talk about, um, we need to understand some things that um, property of this particular shape, which is property. Let's talk about the property. The property we have um, now. Property of what? Cylinder. Property of cylinder. Now, when we talk about property of cylinder, now can you see that property of this? Now, the first thing I want you to understand is the first thing, let's talk about that. Um, one thing that I want us to understand there, we'll be talking about um, core, surface area and volume for one open and close ends cylinder now there are some parts we call it a uh, hallowed that alone is another part which is maybe we'll be expecting that one on the next video if time permits me if possible now when we talk about this the first thing we need to understand here is the first thing you need to understand the first thing is a uh, uh, core uh, surface area core surface area will it also be equals to base um, circumference multiply by height multiply by height now it means what I'm trying to say here is that um, what is my circumference of a circle is 2 pi r uh, multiplied by what h it means 2 pi r h that is what I'm trying to say here that is called uh, surface area now, which is it to be what? Unit squared. Unit squared. Unit. Unit squared. Now, unit squared can be centimeter, can be millimeter, can be any anyhow it comes. That is the unit squared. Now, when that is very important, the next thing I want us to understand here is um, please take note of that. Second one, we talk about um, uh, okay, the next thing we talk about um, before we move on, okay, let's talk about volume. The volume part. Now, the volume 
that is coming, I'll be explaining it. Following this only this um, area multiplied by height. This area multiplied by height. What is my base area? It means my base area is what? Pi r squared multiplied by what? H, which I'll be having for room squared, it, which will be what? Unit cube. Unit cube. It means cube can be uh, in form of a cube. Now, it can be, you know, which is centimeter cube, uh, meter cube, and so on and so forth, kilometer cube. Depend on what you are working on. That is base, that is volume of a uh, cylinder. Now, the next thing I want us to understand there also before we continue is that um, 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 let's talk about total total surface area, which is equals to an area of all the what. All the um, all the faces, all the faces, which is equals to which it will be equals to area of base plus curve surface area plus curve surface area, which is what is the area of the base pi r squared. Uh, plus 2 pi r h. Now, which I will be having pi r, I factor out pi r, which is the bracket of r plus what? Um, uh, uh, ma, ma, ma. r plus 2 h. r plus 2 h. Now, which I can put the unit squared. Unit squared. Now, unit squared, that is the. Now, can you see that? It's very simple to deal with um, 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 cylinder. Now, the last part of it, which is the last property of that I'll be talking about, I'll be talking about um, total surface area. Now, total, total, let me use red pen. I have to use my red pen. Now, I'll be using, um, let me talk about total. Total surface area for closed tops, closed top cylinder only. Please, it means it means what? Um, total surface area equals to area of the faces. Now, there are faces there. Can you see one? There are two faces, one, two, and what? And the cross surface area. It means the faces will be what? The first face is this one. Second face is this one. It means pi r squared plus pi r squared plus what is curve surface area curve surface area is everything which is going to be what 2 pi r h which we have done that it means i'll be having 2 pi r squared plus what 2 pi r h which i can also write it as 2 pi r bracket of r plus h now unit is unit unit uh, square please stick with that I told, to, I told you that units can be centimeter, can be meter, can be any one you want to work on, depending on what you are. Now, can you see, I've given out all the property, what um, what um, cylinder it is. Now, let me quickly ex give an example that will illustrate these, um, these properties. Now, let me quickly give an example. Now. Look at this example. Okay, look at this question. Um, a, a close, I mean, a cylinder container closed both both ends as a radius of 
seven centimeter and height of five centimeter. Now one find the total total um, total surface area of the container. Two, what is the volume of the container? Now, let's solve this question together. Let's see how, how it will look like. Now, when we have something like this, when we have something like this, how do I solve this problem? The first thing I need you to understand here is that uh, we are talking about total, I mean, surface, surface area of the cylinder, and we are talking about what? What is the volume of the cylinder? Uh, this, the, now, the first one, now, it means I will move on by having total surface area, sorry, let me put total surface area, total surface area. Now, it means my total surface area, total surface area will be equals to, um, um, it means area of circular um, base plus area of of um, circular top plus cuff surface area. Now, it means what I'm trying to do is that um, this can be equals to pi uh, r squared plus pi r squared plus 2 pi r h. Now, can you see that is all we are trying to explain here. Now, by having this, which I, it will be 2 pi r bracket of r plus what? h. 2 pi r bracket of r plus h. Now, we all know that from the question, my from the question, my radius is equal to seven centimeter. My age equals to uh, my age is five centimeter. It means I can say that what total surface area will be equals to total surface area will be equals to. Now, what can I do? My total surface area will be two in multiplied by twenty-two all by two multiplied by seven. Now we all know my pi is always equals to twenty-two by seven or 3.147 okay, one, for 134 and so on and so forth which i have it as what is my r okay my r is okay my r is 7 plus my h is what is 5 which i will this will cancel this 22 multiplied by multiplied by this plus this that will be um 12 multiplied by 12 now which i'll be having um 44 times 12, which is, I have 5 to 8 um, centimeter cube, I mean squared, centimeter squared, that is total surface area. My answer is what? That is the um, total surface area. Now, the next thing I want to explain, what is the volume of the what? Of the cylinder. The volume, which is my volume, my volume will be equal to, um, how do I find my volume? I'll give you the formula, which is what? Pi r square h, which is always centimeter cube by r square h. It means by having it, we'll be having what? 22 all over 7 multiplied by 7 squared uh, multiplied by 5, which I can say that all over 7 multiplied by uh, 7 multiplied by 7 multiplied by 5. This one will be cancelled now, which is I can now multiply these two together, which will be. Um, Seven seven zero. That will be seven seven uh, zero centimeter um, cube. Now that is what I mean by cube of that function. Now can you see how it is? It's very simple. Once you know the formula at hand, and if you are writing any exam like Wahek or so, 
there are four figure table for you to use and once those four figure is with you you can see those formula at the back but it's good to have it with you on your brain okay now okay before we leave this part let's quickly let me try to introduce one more example flutter to be more compressive and well understandable now don't forget before you leave this video make sure you subscribe if you have not subscribed before and try to share among your friends you will think of you can see what is going on in the other social media. Now let's say 18, 18 as radius or uh, radius um let me use three centimeters and height height of um, six centimeters. Okay. Yes, I of here. Find the one total surface area of the team. Two um, volume of volume volume in liter. That is the word liter of the of liquid that will fool the thing to capacity um capacity which is I'm writing it in one you correct to two decimal place. Now, I have this to work on. Now, how do I go? What should I do? Now, the first thing I would need to do, I must understand the question. We're talking about T and the solution will be the next thing. Now, the first thing I need to know. I have my radius as what well, three centimeter. I have my height as what well, as six centimeter. Now, very important. And my pi is always given, which is my pi is always what well, twenty two all over seven. Mm -hmm. Since I know all this information, mm -hmm. now I can now move on for the first one: total surface area. My total surface area will surely be equal to two pi r bracket of what. R plus H, which I extend that area, which 22 multiplied by 22 all over 7 multiplied by um, 3 bracket of 3 plus what? Uh, plus 6. Plus 6. Now, what we need to understand here is that uh, this will plus this going to be um, going to be 9 and uh, I can now move on by having, okay, by solving that I will have it in terms of uh, Nine times, which is going to be one six three point seven centimeter squared. That is my total surface area. Now, one point three. Now, it means the volume. That's why I'm point number two. I'm talking about the volume. Now, my volume. How do I get my volume? My volume will be equals to um um um, um volume of the, of the cylinder. I think volume of cylinder equals to um pi r squared h it means i can say that what 22 all over 7 multiplied by what's my half 3 squared multiplied by h is is h is 6. now by so doing that by so doing this i'll be having it my volume will now be equals to um uh, my volume will now be equals to now my volume will be equals to uh, calculate, 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 calculate. Now six seven that be nine, which is going to be uh, which is going to be um one six nine point um point seven point seven the same thing as total surface area cube. Cube. Now since I have that my volume as that, I cannot move on. You know you are looking for what in form of what. Liter. Now you convert now conversion. 
conversion. Now, how do I convert it? How do I convert it? And we were told that uh, from our basic uh, mathematics, you know, we were told that uh, 1000 centimeter cube equals is uh, one liter. Now, it's one liter. Now, since I know that, I cannot move on by having this amount of, which is seven centimeter cube, will be having it in form of X in liter. Now, since I have it, I cannot cross multiply and cross multiply, which I have it uh, 1000 multiplied by X equals to 169.7. If I will start by 1000, by 1000, now, this will cancel. It means in terms of liter, it will be uh, you can add 1, 2, 3. It's 0 0.1697. Now, I cannot approximate it to in liter now. In liter. In liters, it will be now be equal to, um, okay, in liter, it will surely be approximately equal to, which is equal to, to how many decimal places? Two decimal places. It means it's 0 0.17 cents liter. That is just, it means um, this amount in centimeter cube, the same thing to what? That, to that in uh, liter. You can see that um, it's very simple. You know, it's a very nice. Next time we'll be working on, in next video we'll be working on the alloy part of a, of a cylinder, which is we're talking about pipeline, ring and so on and so forth don't forget you are home with further solutions academy further you are home with further further solutions academy encourage us more just encourage us more anywhere you see our video make sure you make sure you share and make sure you subscribe if you have not subscribed before just press on your subscribe button and you can reach us with this line which is uh with our phone number you can reach us two three four eight zero three four nine five nine nine zero with this line you can do three things you can call us you can whatsapp us and telegram is allowed once again thanks so much for watching